Give it up for his new business venture. Um, okay, let's keep it going with your next comment. Come to the stage. Hey, there we are. Here come the flash bombs. This is Paul Lee, your new songs, everyone. Woo! Hello. Uh, I am also a diversity hire because I'm the only one on stage tonight without a penis. I don't know of. here know that my parents are French. Yeah. What they might not know is my mother is also real uh, Russian, a lot of Russian in her. Uh, her favorite part about being a Russian is of course the vodka. And so if there's a birthday, an anniversary, whatever, any occasion, out comes the vodka with my mom. And uh, one time I was at one of these events and I wasn't drinking and she was pissed right off. She's like, why aren't you drinking? Why are you not celebrating? What, why are you embarrassing me? And, okay, I don't do a good Russian accent. Anyway, um, so then I'm like, um, I'm eight years old. Um, I've got school tomorrow and I have to drive you home, but okay, mom. Um, <clears throat> so I started doing stand-up in my early 30s. And I realized uh, almost right at the beginning, there's not very many places to do stand-up in Winnipeg, so I better get a car and do some gigs in the country as well. So I go to get a car, and uh, the guy, of course, is not just trying to sell me a car, he's hitting on me, because that's what men do. <laughs> and there's no accounting for taste. But uh, anyway, so uh, he, as we're doing the test drive, he leans into me and goes, Oh, I really like your perfume. Is that called my place tonight? <laughs> and I said, no, it's called Fat Chance. And he goes, I don't get it. And I'm like, that's right. You're not going to get it. Um, so then he says what all car salesmen say. What do I have to do to get you to buy this car? So I said, is there any chance you might be attached to the muffler? Because that might do it. <laughs> so I got a car. And uh, I started doing some gigs in the country, and I loved the difference in people from the city and, and, and the country. The only thing I didn't like about it was my daughters were pretty young at the time, and uh, sometimes I'd have to stay overnight, so I wouldn't you know, get to come home and kiss them goodnight and read them a bedtime story. So when I get sad about times like that, I pull up this little drawing here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this at all, but it's a cute little drawing that there's Mr. Sun and there's what looks like a half dolphin bird. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a tree, there's a little house with a chimney and smoke. And isn't, that, isn't that a great little drawing? Are oh, you're not impressed? Good, because I drew it. I hope my kids <laughs> like it. It took me all day. <laughs> so I quit drinking. <laughs> traumatic experience that happened when I was eight years old. Uh, I quit drinking and the shitty part about not drinking anymore is you can't hang well with your cool friends that drink. They're, they're a lot of fun, let's be honest. So, for example, the person I really miss, my best friend since birth, she's short, small boobs, blonde, loves karaoke like me and uh, loves martinis. And uh, like, I just can't hang around with her anymore. And um, I don't even think I can be her friend. I mean, I'll always be her daughter, but uh, <laughs> we can't hang around together anymore. Yeah. So <clears throat> I married sperm donor, that's who we call Bob, the father of my two children, because that's literally all he fucking contributed to their existence. <laughs> um, and um, my oldest daughter, my first daughter was born December 20th. So five days later is Christmas, and what does he get me for Christmas? He gets me a fucking scale. <laughs> what? <laughs> so of course, what the fuck, a scale? And well, I thought all you women were obsessed with losing the babies back, so I thought you'd want a scale. Okay, message received. So six months later, it was his birthday, and I got him a ruler. What the fuck did you get a ruler for? Well, I thought all you men were obsessed with the size of your dicks. <laughs> so I'm going to end with um, after divorcing him for that reason and many others took a break
disappointed from men for like 10 years, and then in my 40s, I thought, fuck it, I'm ready to be disappointed again. So I started dating again. And in my 40s was when these fucking dick pics started coming out. Mm-hmm. And so, of course, my first dick pic comes with the caption, my name is Phil, I'm an accountant in Brandon, and there's a dick pic. So I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to, how am I supposed to answer this? So I go, okay. My name is Pauline, and I'm a comedian in Winnipeg, and is there a reason that you're sending me a dick pic of a baby? Ew! Oh my god! So Phil was no longer an issue. <laughs> but then I'm a fucking asshole, man. <laughs> Send me nudes. So I'm like, okay, uh, this is Phil. He's an accountant. <laughs> Thank you, my name is Pauline. All right. Pauline Newtown, give it up for Pauline.